What's going on guys? Today I'm doing a quick minifigure showcase on three custom figs from the Bad Batch. The Bad Batch has been some of my favorite Star Wars that we've gotten in a while. I really liked seeing um, the events of Revenge of the Sith take place and the effects it had on all the clone troopers. And for the celebration of the third episode tomorrow, I thought I would showcase figures for today. So we of course have the star and the reason I'm doing this showcase. Uh, AV figures Echo from the Bad Batch and a quick Omega and Cutler Queen to go along with the figures. So without further ado, let's get into this. Starting off with AV Figures Echo, of course, good old CT1409. Um, I wasn't actually planning on getting this Echo originally because I wanted to see how LEGO's version of Echo would look, and I waited a couple months. LEGO um, finally revealed their Havoc Marauder, and surprise, surprise, the figure sucks. Uh, he doesn't even come with the camera, and he doesn't even have the robot arm. So, AV Figures, uh, they released their Echo a couple weeks beforehand, and of course all the cast sold out so i reached out to the av discard and good old uh, storm 191 decided to make this for me and he sent it out to me and i can't thank him enough and if you're interested in picking up a clone from him or any of the people in the av discord i'll leave a link to his channel below over on discord storm 191 used custom water slide decals to make this figure it started off as a blank white lego minifigure i'll leave a um, picture of what this originally looked like at first, and he used a sheet of water slide decals produced by Andrew and his team over at AV Figures to make this guy, and it's really good! They, they did a fantastic job. I'm not good with water slide decals, which is why I always reach out to people to help me um, make them, but they did a fantastic job, and as far as resin pieces go, you of course have the custom Echo helmet that they produced uh, for this character in costume. You have the custom scomp link over on here, which is really good. And you also have the commando backpack um, that all the other members of the Bad Batch use on the back, of course, of Echo. And all I did on this guy was um, sand off the stud on this black head just because it's a little hard. Uh, it's a bit of a tight fit, so I had to sand off that. And I'm not proud of that, but I used sticky tack and make this head for Echo. And this is actually my first time putting the head on. <laughs> That actually looks really good. Yeah, all I did was I took in um, one of the original Tamir Morrison heads, not the newer ones from 2020. I took the normal fleshy colored ones, and I painted the eye bags on, and I gave him the headphones that he has and the um, drills in his head. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Echo. He also comes with a brick arm DC-17. And I want to thank Storm91 again for making this uh, amazing figure. <laughs> Cut the Queen is pretty simple. He's literally just a Doctor Strange torso, a repainted clone head with some sideburns, and then some painted boots. He's really, really simple. I didn't even make the spear he has in the show, but uh, yeah, he has a Brook Arms DC uh, 15A. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And for Omega cut. is just as simple. She's literally a Hermione Granger head and a Luke Skywalker hairpiece and a really simple painted torso. And I mean simple. It's really, really simple. If I can get the video in focus, there we go. So yeah, I, I did make her a Night Sister bow that she is probably going to use later on the show, but it didn't really turn out that great, so I kind of scrapped it. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this showcase, guys. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, once again, one last thank you to Storm91 and the fantastic work he did on Echo. And yeah, I'm excited for episode 3 tomorrow, and maybe we'll see Captain Rex or Fennec Shand. We'll see. I am working on a Fennec Shand along with some more Mando figures, including Frog Lady, and, and, and Casca Reeves, and even the Dark Troopers that um, Custom Bricks released. So yeah, a lot of great stuff coming up on the channel, and I'll see you guys soon!